What's up everyone, Takedown here, back with another video. It's almost been one year since I quit my dead-end job. I wanted to do this video to mark my one year since I quit. Something fun to do, and that is going to be reacting to workplace fails. I'm really happy that it's been one year. I'm happy that I did quit my job when I did. And I started working on what I've been working on, the Scooter Guide course, Candace Border, everything that I've had to do in order to start doing that. So let's check out these videos. Let's get right into it. Uh, he might make it. Uh, he did not make it. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be a lot of work to clean up. No, why wouldn't you have A, shrink wrapped it? Number two, why would you be going so fast? Number three, it looks like cans of soup or something, so definitely if you're gonna be doing it like that, you should have shrink wrapped it. It would have held it in more. Um, oh, why would you climb a shelf? Why would you try to push the shelf? That's why la that's why they have ladders. This is a safety issue. That's why you don't climb on the shelving. God. I've seen this happen, not like that where a whole shelf came over, but I've seen that happen in uh, my last job, so I'm happy I'm not there. Oh. I've had similar things like that happen to me before too, where a whole shelf gave away when you're trying to put product on it. Okay, that was pretty funny. What's... No... See, that biker on the right knew to stop. Oh, they're like... They're like cinder blocks. And it crushed that car. I don't get... If something's going, move out of the way, because you ain't going to stop it. And they're just continuing on with the work there. I don't know what he's going to do here. This is going to be... Weird. Okay, that's pretty clever. <laughs> uh, I take that back. Because that was, I wasn't expecting it to rip over, and I, and I guess he wasn't either, but uh, something's going to happen here. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. It even broke the back windows. It broke at least four windows there. That's why you lock the wheels whenever you're doing that. I don't know if honking was going to do anything there, but. Okay, so it's a bar. Uh, what's he trying to do? Put the thing in the keg? Is that it? Oh, he did it wrong. Why would you... I would have just pushed it in and shut the door. Then it wouldn't be spraying everywhere. That's gonna snap. I don't know why all the weight's on one side like that. Or what this guy's gonna do to stop it. Why would you raise it up that high if you... There it goes. Yeah, snap the hydraulic. Yeah. I don't get some of these. Some of these just don't make sense. Some of these are preventable. <sighs> Why would you be driving with the doors open and somebody in the back when there's a load there? And there they go. Good thing you jumped because, oh, they're still going. Oh, they're still going. I don't know what it was hauling though, you can't really tell really, but... Oh, at first glance I thought this was tires stacked up. Because I've been like in that situation, I've seen that before. So that's what it reminded me of, but I think these are like big industrial piping. Um, big industrial pipes. One knocked over. Okay, so that guy tries to... Uh, uh, Oh my god, would he... Something tells me he was either in a lot of shit or fired for that. He just took everything out. Ah, uh, come on, this one has to be fake. I think he just literally looked at the end of it. So to me, this has to be fake. Because you wouldn't still be going. Oh no. You're going way too fast, buddy. You're going way too fast. Yeah, it hit. It's still going, it's still going. It's gonna be a big crash. Oh no. Okay, this one doesn't look like it's gonna be that bad. Just tossing bricks down to him with pallets, so. 
Why would you look away when you've seen him throw it? That's your own fault. <laughs> What's this going to do? If it's already leaning that much and one tire is already off the ground, that is not going to do anything. Especially when it's a loose load anyways. It's not like something solid. It's wood. What is he hauling there? Whatever it is, he wasn't doing it right. And it just totally destroyed the front end of that transport. I don't know. That'd be a forklift driver's fault. I like how it says regret nothing on the trailer. But this guy uh, kind of jackknifed and it looks like it's his own fault because it looks like he has all kinds of room there but the parked cars on the other side. There it goes. Why would you continuously... See, he's honking the horn, which he should be in that case because why would you continuously try to back up over what you just lost in the hall? Some people are just dumb and make no sense. There it goes, the whole shelf. Is that wine? Oh, I sure hope so. That would be expensive to clean up. Or, sorry, product to lose. Ooh. I think you hit the button a little bit too fast. Oh, no. 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 Oh, it's still going. Uh, I know I'm saying no, but I honestly love this. The other side's starting to go at the end. See, to me, whatever products you have that are on those shelving clearly exceed the weight what limit. The fuck? I knew that was going to be an accident when you have the transport crossing over when there's a speeding transport coming to it and you're not speeding yourself. Oh God! But yeah, those uh, those shelving is falling. It's because the they exceeded the weight limit. I think because they wouldn't all collapse like that or shouldn't. Well, that boat is scratched, and you didn't park the forklift, so now it's going. You still didn't put the forklift in park. Now the the boat just went all the way down. Forklift still going. You didn't put it. This is either a new employee or somebody that just doesn't know what he's doing or cares maybe i don't really know what to say with that last one that is just either inexperience not caring maybe he's a new employee i don't know but <sighs> number one you can't stop something that is moving that weighs that much especially a boat number two he could have put the forklift in park the first time he went in it um, but it, yeah, it just kept going and going and going. And the one where all the shelving collapsed, clearly those shelving units were not meant for whatever you, whatever the company was storing on them. So partially it is the forklift driver's fault for running into them. Partially for them to collapse that easily, they exceed to the weight limit, in my opinion, from whenever I worked retail, when things like that happened, you know, right away, okay, it exceeded the weight limit. That's why it collapsed. So. I don't know, some of these were hilarious. Some of these were freaking awesome, but others you could tell it is stuff that were preventable. That uh, it was human error, which I don't know, it makes some of them funny. Some of them are just like, what are you doing? Because I've seen some of these things happen in person, like shelves collapsing. Like if you're gonna have that much weight on a shelf make sure the brackets are going to support that weight make sure they are the heavy duty brackets because in retail stuff like that happens and oh my god it's fun it's fun to watch but it's not fun if you're the employee and then you have to go and clean it up so i thought this was really fun to do especially since it basically is just me marking one year since i quit my dead end retail job i absolutely hated now i'm projecting myself to a have a career that i enjoy uh, working security and or the border. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing. And also to set myself up to actually have a future. So I'm not going to be making minimum wage because that was really hard before. So it is uh, steps that I'm taking to better myself. So um, I'm happier now that I don't work in 
where I worked in my last job. I just really hated everything about that. So now that it's been one year since I quit, I am happier. I am a way happier person. I think you guys can tell in these videos too. If you watch my videos from back then and you watch my videos now, I come across as a more happier person. So I am going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below what you guys think I should react to next because I love doing things like this where I take videos or different subjects like work fails and reacting to them. I think they're a lot of fun. I'm going to be doing some NHL stuff in the future where I react to funny moments of that, uh, more funny moments of that, dangerous things, stunts, uh, different things like that. Uh, WWE stuff I'm going to be reacting to. So just comment down below what you guys would like to see me react to. And I'll try to find videos and put them together and maybe do a reaction video to them. So I love doing things like this. I want to hear what you guys think of what you guys want me to do next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.